everyone. This is the Coffee with the Geek Show, and this is the virtual edition. We are in Second Life for this, and there's a reason we're in Second Life, because we're going to be talking about the ISTE Virtual Environments Playground with my good friend and colleague Scott Merrick, who is to uh, my avatar's right. So my avatar is Spiff Whitfield. Look me up in Second Life. And next to me is Scott Merrick O in Second Life, but Scott Merrick in real life. So. Scott, uh, welcome. Thanks for joining me. You're in Philadelphia, I believe, for the conference. But uh, before we talk about that, let's talk about you, Scott. Tell me about your background in education and all things virtual environments. Let's go with that. Okay. Well, I've been a teacher, graduated from Peabody College for Teachers at Vanderbilt back in 1996, sort of late in my life. So I came to teaching late, but I came to uh, <laughs> virtual worlds and virtual environments pretty early. 2003 with Active Worlds, and then 2004-ish uh, when Second Life came on the scene, and uh, ISTE got me very, very involved in Second Life with the legendary ISTE Island. Uh, I had a blogger's hut there, and uh, was a docent. We back in the day there was a cadre of docents, and you'd sign up and schedule yourself to be in Second Life when, uh, whenever new people came in. That was cool and fun, and I met a whole bunch of people, including uh, the fellow next to me, Spiff Whitfield. <laughs> um, and then we sort of got into uh, Second Life Playgrounds, which morphed into Virtual Worlds Playgrounds, Virtual Environments play Playgrounds. And back in 2009, 10 years ago, friends and neighbors. We uh, changed the special interest group for virtual environments to virtual environments network. And Andy and I have been sort of trading off uh, with a few respites, the chair, the chairship of virtual environments network. And I've enjoyed it a lot. So with that, uh, this year, the Virtual Environments Playground, which has been, you know, going on for quite some time, is also now part of, uh, we've collaborated now with the Games and Simulations Network. Can you talk a little bit about that collaboration? Um, yeah, it's, it's been really good for us, and ISTE has sort of seen the, our range of scope sort of overlaps with games and simulations and theirs with our network. So they sort of have placed us together as brothers and sisters, which is great because the whole collaboration process for putting together uh, an event like this, a three and a half hour event uh, with a broad range of topics and lots of hands-on interactivity uh, is a lot of work and the more people you can get in on it, the better. We've really enjoyed working this year with Michelle Arbogast, um, who will be there at a table at her playground. And Mary, uh, of course, Mary Howard uh, is the other playground coordinator. Um, they've done such a good job this year. You gotta come by. Yeah, it's a really good uh, group. And it, it, I think this is a good time to maybe bring in the virtual reality VR is now a part of, of what we do. And I think, again, it was just a natural evolution and extension of the virtual environments, games and sims groups that uh, VR comes into it. And we also have the podcasting crew uh, with James McCrary. So you want to talk a little bit about that? Right. They'll be at a table this year and <coughs> sharing the virtual reality podcast, which is immensely wonderful. Uh, as a matter of fact, on the presentation stage, they will be uh, doing a live podcast to sort of wrap up the playground this year. So please be there for that. It's going to be fun, fun, fun. So for those who are going to be at ISTE, can you tell them a little bit about maybe if they've never been to the virtual environments playground or any playground, or for those people who have been to ISTE before and seen our playground, what is it, what's the flavor of the playground going to be like this year? And can you talk a little bit about the uh, virtual playground that we're going to be offering here in Second Life. Yeah, uh, first of all, the, the playground itself 
I think you, if you want a theme or a, a tone for it, it'll be sort of guided chaos. Uh, we've got six presentation tables. Um, I like to call them share out tables, uh, which you're gonna, they'll be on this um, looping presentation, which you see behind us. Uh, and the, there's just gonna be so much going on that it's gonna be quite incredible. We'll have uh, uh, a table for the virtual environments uh, worlds and I will be at that table sort of sharing Second Life and Open Simulator and Minecraft for that matter also kindly so if you want to sign up for any of those accounts I'll be able to help people do that there let's see Andy what else are we having we're having um, the, the virtual reality podcast will have its own table and they'll be sharing all kinds of things uh, uh, in 3D virtual reality uh, and what's up and coming in the field. Bob Wojtek will have a table where he'll, he'll be uh, sort of stacked up with Oculus gear to give the attendees at that table sort of a, an experience with the 3D uh, goggles, which they may not have had. So it's a really good chance to come and talk with Bob about that. And uh, Rosie Wojtek will have her own table for BWBPE, which is the Virtual World's Best Practices and Education Conference. Uh, let's see. So there'll be presentations going on, like just give the layout. So you'll have six different stations that people can walk up to. And there's also gonna be a presentation area as well, correct? Correct. And the presentation area will rot rotate uh, a 30 minute presentation. Let's see, we'll have Caitlin Krause there who will be doing a book signing during the playground. And uh, she'll also do a short presentation about her book, Creativity by Design. It's gonna be way cool, way cool, way cool. Yeah, she's done a lot of work on mindfulness. She's really one of the kind of premier leaders in that kind of field. Uh, I know there are a lot of people doing that work, but, um, and if if you come meet her, you'll, you'll see what a kind-hearted intellectual she is. She's a great person. Wonderful human being. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And, uh, um, all right. What so, else, Andy, can we share yeah. up here? Well, let's talk about uh, your other experiences uh, for ISTE. What else are you going to be doing there? Uh, we'll be doing a poster presentation on Sunday, um, and it is called Creativity Tools Across the Curriculum, Virtually Inexhaustible. And That'll be Mary and me, and hopefully Andy will be able to show up remotely. He's had some some life issues, uh, family issues, good family issues <laughs> that are, are sort of keeping him from the first half of the conference. But Absolutely. our poster session will be uh, Sunday, 11.30 to 1.30, uh, poster table 7. So that'll be me and Mary and hopefully Andy from afar. Andy's got something going on too, which is really exciting. Yeah, I'm going to be there Tuesday and Wednesday. I wish I could be there for the whole conference, but I'm going to be there Tuesday, Wednesday, and I'm going to be at the one and three sessions. So uh, let me just grab my. Uh, so the one and three sessions are basically one big idea in three minutes. So people have to really know their stuff and be uh, going going pretty quickly. So. Those are two days, so the first day it's going to be on, um, let me just check, uh, so one of three sessions, they're gonna be in one of the ballrooms, so there'll be plenty of room. So it's the Terrace Ballroom, level four. And Wednesday's session is gonna be in the morning, nine to 10, and Tuesday's session is, uh, I did that in reverse order, that's gonna be at 11, 15, actually that's just the warm up round so it'll be later on I think 315 so come and check those out the one and three sessions are really good you're gonna get a bunch of ideas and um, kind of create creative solutions in three minutes so it's a bunch of just short shots of really cool stuff so Tuesday Wednesday uh, rapid fire elevator speeches right? <laughs> yes exactly cool and I do want to mention uh, before we finish here this slide presentation behind us will be looping to, to sort of help you organize the process during the playground. Um, you're, 
what do you want to see? We'll just watch this little looping slide presentation one time or two times through and you'll be able to figure out exactly where you want to be. That'll be cool. Yeah, and kind of rolling through this. So one of our themes is kind of rotates around Bandersnatch, the um, Black Mirror movie. Just that whole kind of creative process of gaming and uh, human interaction. So Mary Howard created this presentation. There's the podcast. If I can make it loop. Is it looping yep. in your video? Yeah, I'm actually hitting the slides. So uh, I walked, through, I kind of looped through all the slides. And we're on the one with the virtual reality podcast that'll be there. So cool. Being. Yeah, let's stop on this, Scott. So how do people get in touch with us outside of the conference? You can go to um, V e network .weebly.com. and uh, in the playground there are some QR codes to help you do that but you can also go to our uh, second life presence our headquarters in second life and that would be tinyurl.com slash istebe network and we'll put those uh, in the show notes when we put this on air what are some of the other um, presentations that uh, people could see along the lines of, say, uh, virtual environments? Well, let's say download the app at uh, ISD19 app that's uh, in the App Store and in Google Play. So, uh, and then when you do that, check out the VE Network picks, and there are 20 of those. And um, interesting, when we had to choose our picks, we uh, had over 1,400 presentations to go through. <laughs> it's quite a process, wasn't it, Andy? Yeah, it was. And it, it kind of lends itself to the notion that uh, virtual environments and uh, you know virtual creation tools, VR, are definitely hot um, educational. Yeah, because what we ended up having was 40 uh, recommendations uh, instead of the 20 that was our limit for the uh, PLN picks. So what we've done is put together a PDF that is in the digital tote of the playground presentation, and that contains all of the 40 presentations that we thought were uh, worth recommending, even though we could only really recommend 20. So you got the whole thing at the digital tote. So go ahead and download that. You can search presentations by name and get the time and place of those things. All right, so there is a lot to do and see at ISTE, and we're also going to have uh, Lear Lobo doing the virtual environments uh, not at ISTE playground here, so please make sure if you're not able to go to ISTE, you stop by our Second Life space here, and there will be some presentations and people you can hang out with and chat about uh, not being at ISTE and learning both here and uh, hopefully from people sharing. So. Uh, thanks, Scott, for joining me, and we will see you at ISTE on Tuesday and Wednesday. And otherwise, uh, have a great ISTE experience as always. And thanks, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come see us. <laughs>